What's up, my beautiful and powerful Scorpios? What it do? Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this reading is going to be what you or what's coming towards you this Gemini season, okay? Or what's in store for you this Gemini season? I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, so let's get into it. So we have the number seven. So this could be a number that you're seeing now. This could be significant in the future. But this is letting you know, Scorpio, that you have new opportunities are heading your way. And your path is aligning for great wealth, Scorpio. Okay, so get this motherfucking money, Scorpio. That's what I'm talking about. So Scorpio, this Gemini season, you're going to have new opportunities that's going to head your way. Why? Because your path is aligning for great wealth. So now that your path is aligned for great wealth, Scorpio, you need to do some abundance planning, okay? So we have the number one. The number one, and we know number one talks about new beginnings. So right now, you may want to budget or focus on what you're spending your money on. So whenever you receive this abundance or this great wealth, Scorpio shit, you ain't going to blow up. We're trying to hold that shit. We're trying to make that some generational money, okay? Then for some of you guys, we have six with the number... 44. So you could be seeing the number 44 right now. You could be seeing the numbers 444. But four is talks about, you know, stability. Maybe you guys have been manifesting some things. You've been working on your foundation. You planted some seeds and now them shits is ready to grow, okay? So some of you guys could be having sex with Gemini seeds, okay? Now, if you like me, you ain't had none in a while, okay? But with this sex card, you know, it not only talks about having sex, but it talks about, you know, sex is like an experience. It's like going into a... Uh, um, it's like a, a great, a very passionate experience. It's an exchange of energies that you have between you and someone else. So if you're like me, Scorpio, you've been celibate. You ain't been getting done. It's like during this time, this Gemini season, it's like take this time to think of and think and manifest. Think about what type of sexual experience do you really want? You know, if you ain't had sex in a while, shit, you just don't want to have no damn, you don't want nobody to come in there jack, rabbit fucking your ass. So, you know, giving you some wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type shit. Like you want some passion and sex you want something that's different than what you experienced in the past so if in the past you just been used to just fucking you know and now you probably taking a break from sex it's like you when you have sex again you don't want to be just fucking like you want that shit to be like a very passionate intimate experience and then we have be still so for some of you guys this gemini sees the spirit just wants you to sit, sit your motherfucking ass down somewhere be still let some things flow. Get some damn rest. Like, some of you have been overworked. You're working a lot. You're trying to, you know, do some things. We got summer coming in. You're trying to take some vacations, some trips, all that shit. But Spirit needs you to sit your ass down for a second, okay? Then some of you, you could be signing a contract this Gemini season. Or you could, like I say, be working too much. You could have, like, a toxic work environment that could be draining. It could be very uncomfortable there. And because of this, like, maybe you're wanting to move around, but you feel like maybe you, maybe fear is blocking you from maybe changing jobs or doing something different. Someone around you could be, like, depressed, or some of you guys could be depressed from being in this toxic work environment. But guess what? With this ornaments card, you will be getting some money coming in, some extra money coming in, Scorpio, okay? You will be able to celebrate. Some of you guys are into retail. You do beauty, makeup. But it's like you're finishing your work. You're making progress. Okay, so let's get into this energy. So some of you guys, a Capricorn could be returning to you during this Gemini season, okay? This could have been someone you dealt with in the past or recently met. And then you have someone that wants to tell you how they feel. So this Gemini season, someone could be approaching you, calling you, sending you a message, hell, popping up at your damn house, like expressing themselves. And I feel like this is someone who has like held back their feelings in the past. This is definitely someone who has never expressed any type of feeling for you guys. Some of you guys, this could be your twin that wants to tell you how they feel or wants to come in and express something to you. For some of you guys, this is a fire sign you're dealing with, Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. And also, this person this could have been your twin, as Capricorn, as fire sign. This is someone who you felt like their priorities were fucked up. Like, maybe they were focused on the wrong fucking thing. They didn't make you a fucking priority. You know, you just felt like their priorities was fucked up all together. So, let's pull some more cards here. Let's see what else Spirit has coming for you. What the universe has coming for you this Gemini season. So, what's in store for my Scorpio Spirit this Gemini season? What's in store for my Scorpios? We have, whoa, Nelly. Okay, so something could be happening. You like, whoa, hold them presses, hold it down. So something your twin flame could be trying to do, could tell you something like that. You're going to be like, whoa, hold on a motherfucking second, okay? 
So tell me more, Spirit. What else do they have in store? Oh, shit. Y'all cards always fall on the damn floor. Then we have power. So someone here has maybe become more strong. They've got some type of strength. They've gained their power here. This could be you guys. Maybe you're going to be stepping into your power here. And then we have K, Sarah, Sarah. So I feel like for some of you guys, if this is especially your twin that's coming back, you just like, shit, when this motherfucker come, they you they going to come. Like, you ain't too much particularly worried about it. Maybe it's been taking a while for this person to come in. But you like, what will be, will be, okay? Then we have past life relationships with someone from your past. This twin, your twin flame here, you've known this person before. This person will be returning. Why, Scorpio? Because this person wants to reconcile with you. So someone from your past life is returning. Your twin flame, well, uh, Scorpio, I'm sorry, will be returning to you this Gemini season because this person wants to reconcile with you. Oh, goodness. Let's pull some more messages here. Okay, this person could want to give you an equal give and take now in this relationship. Or for some of you, you could be receiving some unexpected income this Gemini season. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so your twin is coming towards you or this person coming towards you. This could have been someone who was like, had a lot of mental conflict. This is someone who, you know, was trapped in their mind. Or this could have been someone, shit, who getting out of jail, Scorpio. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone who was locked up in this person, shit. They couldn't get out of jail and come see your ass. Yep. This person, this pathway that this person has taken, this journey that your twin has taken, Scorpio has led their ass right back to you and with these butterflies here i feel like this person has gone through some changes so when this person does return scorpio they will have changed they're not going to be the same person the immature ass motherfucker that they were before okay so man yes they are coming to fulfill this contract remember i just said earlier some of you guys could be signing a contract here with this devil card so this could be this soul contract that you are getting ready to fulfill with your twin flame and this is someone who has been watching you if this person ain't said much to you scorpio know this motherfucker been lurking in the dark watching your ass this person wants to come in and give you unconditional love giving and receiving affection remember i said here this person could want to come in and give you an equal give and take now in this situation this is someone that you could fall in love with scorpio okay that's what i'm talking about i hope something here has resonated with you guys if it did you know what to do scorpio i love you guys stay blessed